I can draw better on notability than I can on PowerPoint, and notability doesn't quite work, or at least I haven't figured out how to make it work with uh, VidGrid. So I'm doing this one video where I solve this problem on Zoom. This is a problem straight from an exam, and you can expect something similar to that. And I've designed a beam here, a, a, a um, cantilever with a, a overhang, overhang cantilever. And this beam will look something like that, the moment diagram. And <clears throat> what I've done is I've designed it for the maximum moment. And uh, so uh, the maximum negative moment this, this is designed for that, and the maximum positive moment is that. And I've already done the step H for it. You have extra bars. So I took these two, these two bars out, and I calculated the reduced VMN. I took that one bar out, and I calculated the reduced VMN. And uh, everything here is given, uh, as I just said, two of the negative bars cut, one of the positive bars cut, Here's F prime C, F Y. I do have minimum stirrups, so you don't have to check that uh, 12 point, 5 point, whatever that I talked about earlier. Uh, there's lightweight aggregate concrete and uh, epoxy coated bars, and they are closely spaced. That'll affect the development length. And what you need to do is determine all bar lengths, round them to the nearest three inches. Uh, check uh, where well, you need to check that it's, um, back then it was 12.10.5, now it's some different number, 7.9.3.5, and all other pertinent ACI practical checks. I want you to clearly mark all theoretical and proposed cutoffs, uh, mark and label all uh, offsets and clearly mark what you're comparing to the development length. Okay, so first of all, have any extra bars. I already did that. So this is the full set of bars. And this is the reduced. And I saved you a step. I've already calculated the reduced VMNs. So when you take out the bars, the VMN goes down. So the numbers you need to remember are this 114.1 and this 92.6. Hey, e and L, establish the theoretical cutoff points and check LD. So establish the cutoff points. So the reduced positive was 92.6. Okay, so what I did was um, I just came out here. I eyeballed 92.6. I went across and I found where they intersected the moment diagram and I just drew them in. Okay. Then I calculated D and 12 bar diameters, whichever was greater. And so D, uh, <clears throat> let's see, um, uh, D was Let's see, 17.5 inches. And these are number, oh, did I say what bars they are? Uh oh. 860 bars. Oh, so um, uh, that part of the problem, oh, here it is, seven number five bars. So the diameter of a number five is five eighths. So 12 times 5 eighths equals something less than 17.5. So D is bigger than 12 bar diameters. Okay. So we need 17.5 inches. Okay. So you come back here. This is bigger. Okay. And 17.5 inches, I'm going to convert that to feet. That is... One point four six feet or one point five feet. So then what I did was I just came here and I took a piece of paper and I and I marked off that distance. That's one point five feet. 
And then I just transferred that distance using a piece of paper to here. That's 1.5 feet. And that's 1.5 feet. Okay. And if I can do this with a camera to, to show you in real life how I did it, um, I, I basically just, I, I laid a piece of paper here and I just marked this on the paper. Then I just brought the paper over here and I just marked those points. So this is theoretically where I want to cut it and propose. Next, uh, we have to check it versus the development length. So LD, that's the equation right there. Uh, lightweight concrete, etc. So uh, let's see. This was uh, 0 0.75, epoxy coated, um, grade 60. The bars are on the bottom, 5 eighths inch, uh, point number five comes out to this, which is 2.96 feet or three feet. So then I went back up here, I got a piece of paper and I, I did three feet. So three feet is from here to there, right? So let me do that here. Okay, so that line is three feet. Okay, so you, oops, oops. Let me try that again. Uh, this line here, that's three feet long. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it. And what I need to check is where I want to cut it, and copy it and I'm paste it again. Okay. And I'm gonna eyeball in the maximum moment is right about here. Where I'm proposing to cut it, okay, is more than LD away. So LD was not uh, greater than that distance, so this is good. Okay, so that's good. The other thing you need to check, the bars you're not cutting. So you're not cutting this bar, and you're not cutting the other bar is down here. So let me erase these other things that are getting in the way now. And <clears throat> the other thing you're supposed to check is from the bars you're not cutting from there to where the cut bars are theoretically going to be cut. From there to there, is that greater than LD, which is three feet? That's obviously greater than three feet. These are both good. So this cut is good. That one's good that one is good and so what we're going to cut that is roughly it's set to the nearest three inches oh i'm going to call that at 21 feet eyeball that in there i'm going to call that at 13 feet six inches we're going to cut that okay so that's the negative <laughs> the positive bar sorry okay um need to repeat for the negative okay so negative okay. we're looking for this number here 114.1 okay. so I come over here Oops. I find 114.1 okay, again just eyeball that in come across and I found that I came out D again with a piece of paper and that's where I'm proposing to cut it off. Okay. This, where you no longer need the bars, is D. This one is D, 12 bar diameters, or L over 16. D was still the biggest of those three. Okay. okay. Next, um, <clears throat> calculate the LD. There we go. Number five bars good spacing, I mean, good confinement as minimum stirrups. Okay, the only difference here, that's 0 0.75, lightweight concrete, um, there's epoxy, and these bars are on the top, so 1.3. But remember, this product does not need to be bigger than 1.7, so that got replaced with 1.7. 3.36 feet, 
is what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to the picture. Where's the, there it is. I'm gonna do 3.36 feet. You know, this is not the most exact thing in the world. So from there, two feet, three feet, 3.5, I don't know, somewhere around there. Okay, so this is the development length. Okay, it's a negative development length right there. Okay. I just eyeballed that. Okay, so from, oh, this is super close. Uh, I'm gonna put it right there. Oh, I changed the length. I'm gonna put that one right there, okay. <clears throat> so you can see, let me change this to green. That's too short. That is not more than LD. So that's no good. You have to move it out to here. Oop, that one's too short. That is not LD, that's no good. You have to move it to there. The other thing you need to check, the bars you are not cutting. You're not cutting there, and you're not cutting there. From here to the theoretical location of the cut bars, is that greater than LD? Certainly, that's good. Um, this one, from there, all the way to here. Let me get rid of these other scribbles. Is that greater than LD? That certainly is. So those are good. Okay. And so the final cuts are here. Okay. And I'm going to eyeball that in. Oh, that's 11 feet 9 inches. That's what my eyeballs say and that is at four feet six inches and that's where we're going to cut them okay so uh <clears throat> oops i was supposed to do it on this drawing sorry um but uh there we go uh i don't know why i have that in there twice and the last thing you do is make a drawing of, of where you're going to cut these things off so again, this is being cut at four foot six, all the way to 11, nine. And then this one up here, uh, where did it go? Um, this one up here is from uh, 13, six, all the way out to 21 feet. And uh, you would just make a final drawing uh, of those. And uh, there you go.